humans of the horror tree i'm back because belinda isn't yet and Stuart is well he's the world's most busy man Uh, my name is lauren and i'm also the editor of horror tree's weekly fiction zine trembling with fear and as usual we have combed this week's calls for submission and picked a few standouts for you to consider for your writing pleasure this week first up one for the crime writers Guilty Crime Fiction is now open for submissions to its print magazine until the 14th of October. They're open to interpretation on what crime fiction means, but they are looking for stories of criminals from their perspective, and they are definitely not going to consider cosies, police procedurals, anything with a speculative element, or anything that glories in violence for the sake of it. In addition, detective stories and serial killers are going to be a hard sell for this one. In case you didn't get the flavour, make sure you read the entirety of the guidelines before submitting as they've changed since last time and they will be very, very, very strict on things that don't follow guidelines. Payment for this is $10 and remember to get your criminals to the publication by the 14th of October. If you heard that no violence for the sake of it and thought, oh, uh, maybe the evil cookie is more your style. This publishing house is always on the lookout for unique, fast-paced, gory stories with the perfect blend of extreme horror, splatterpunk and dark humour elements. Nothing with kids and no political or religious plots for this one, nothing too heavy. The Evil Cookie Publishing is the chaotic project in quote marks, the chaotic project of extreme horror author and digital artist K. Trap Jones. It's designed as a way to give back to the splatterpunk community. The basic contract offers a 50-50 split on all, all royalties, plus three paperback copies thrown upon uh, three paperback copies upon publication, no throwing happening, and rights are for three years exclusive English worldwide, with all other rights remaining with the author. Not into the gory, grimy stuff? Head over to Escape Pod. The science fiction podcast is open to submissions until the 31st of May next year. This is a very well-regarded fiction podcast and only opens to subs once a year, so you've got plenty of time to publish those words. The podcast is interested in exploring the wide range that science fiction permits, but they want stories that centre science, technology, future projections, and or alternate history, and how any or all of these things impact individuals and society. It leans in the direction of escapism, hope punk, and optimism rather than grim, dark, and gloom. And they do love a bit of humor too. Stories are published in both text and audio, but audio is the primary format, which means they prefer stories of high clarity and tight pacing. No experimental syntax here because it just doesn't work on audio. As for the details, short stories of original fiction from 1500 to 6,000 words, reprints only can go up to 7,500 words, and novelettes are accepted as reprints only up to 8,000 words. Payment is 0.08 cents per word for original fiction and $100 per story for reprint fiction. It's worth noting that this is an SFWA qualifying market for original fiction. Again, there are strict submission guidelines, so make sure you follow them. You sci-fi authors might also want to consider the Mike Resnick Memorial Award for Best Science Fiction Short Story by a New Author. This is an annual reward, uh, annual award sponsored by Galaxy's Edge magazine and Dragon Con that aims to continue the legacy of author and editor Mike Resnick in spotlighting wonderful new voices in the writing world. Eligible stories will be up to 7,499 words and be written by an author who has not had any work published, though there are caveats to what that means in practice, so do check out the submission page for full details. First place here will get a trophy, a cash award of 250 US dollars, and have their story bought by Galaxy's Edge for publication in the magazine. So if you are new to the sci-fi world, make sure you check that one out. If you've been tinkering with an anthropomorphized character, I'm so glad I said that right. If you've been tinkering with an anthropomorphized character, take heed of this call from Lost Boys Press. They're looking for eight to 10 stories about entirely new societies and cultures populated by anthropomorphized creatures. It's an opportunity to be utterly and totally crazily creative. 
because every genre qualifies and you've got three to 9,000 words to tell your story. Accepted authors will receive $40 and one free digital copy of the completed anthology. Best get that story about our feline overlords ready. And finally, because spooky season is upon us, it's my favourite time of year, let's turn to this special call from Black Widow Press. They're publishing a Halloween anthology titled Halloween Horrors, and the deadline for submissions is super tight. They will need to receive your stories by the 3rd of October. Stories must be 1,000 to 5,000 words and at least loosely related to Halloween. You'll retain all copyright to the story you submit, and while there will be no payment up front, successful contributors will split 50% of the royalties. We don't actually get many Halloween-themed anthologies across the Horror Tree desk, so get in and support this one. So we are absolutely flooded next year. And that's it for this week's highlights, but you'll find more awesome calls over on HorrorTree.com. So head to the site, pick your potions, and get writing. And it would be, of course, again, remiss of me to not remind you we are open for submissions every week of the year on Trembling with Fear. It's found on the Horror Tree site, and I'd love to hear from you. We are especially always looking for drabbles. That's 100 words exactly for a story. But bye for now, and happy writing. Happy writing.